Yes, that's a live image that's of the moon scary. outside right now. That is a Creepy. flower blood supermoon. How can a moon do all those things and be all those things at the same time tonight? Well, let's explain why. It's actually a lunar eclipse this evening, and what's happening is that the moon is passing into the shadow of the earth. It would be dark except for the sun is so giant those rays from the sun overshoot the earth and it scatters in the atmosphere causing that reddish hue, hence the blood moon. Also it's called a flower moon because it's in May, which is springtime, and it's a super moon because in its orbit it's as close as it can be to the earth right now. So there you go. It peaked at 10 11 this evening. Of course, it's going to end at 11:55 tonight. So head on outside and enjoy the flower blood super moon. It certainly is a beautiful night to do it. We have a few high thin clouds, hence that eerie sound effect I did. 81 degrees at the airport right now. Winds will be light and variable tonight, anywhere from calm to about 10 miles per hour. Here are the temperatures outside, mild throughout the borderland, 70 Alamogordo. We've got 76 Deming, 88 Juarez, and 80 in Van Horn. Official high temperature today, 99 degrees. We're still looking for that first triple digit day, and I think we'll get it tomorrow. Official record high today, 102. That was set back in 2000. And remember, normal this time of year is only 88 degrees. Here are the other high temperatures through the borderland. Juarez made it to 197 for Alamogordo. Alamogordo, 98 for Deming, 99 Las Cruces, 97 for Van Horn. A rainfall we haven't seen much. We are at only 42% of normal this time of year, which is 1.38 inches. We've only received 0.58 so far this year. It's hard to get any rain when we can't even get any clouds. And you can clearly see the blocking high pressure over the whole southwest as well as Mexico. That's breaking down on the northeast side of Texas where severe weather is heading through the Dallas-Fort Worth metro area as we speak. Here's the structure of the atmosphere. That big ridge of high pressure is still parked tomorrow over Texas. It's starting to shift a little bit toward the east. We have a low pressure system moving through the Midwest. Severe weather along the eastern seaboard tomorrow and that cold front will continue to produce severe weather down through the south tomorrow. For us, we get winds tapping in from the southwest. As that ridge of high pressure moves to the east, our winds get stronger. That's why I think temperatures go up tomorrow by at least a degree or so. 57 low temperature tonight, Alamogordo, 53 Deming, 64 Juarez, 59 for Van Horn. Your high temperatures, 97 Alamogordo, 99 Deming, 100 El Paso and Juarez, 100 for Van Horn. Tonight, 59 the low temperature in Las Cruces with light winds and a few clouds tomorrow with a high of 99 degrees. 63 our low temperature International Airport tonight, light winds, 100 the high temperature for tomorrow, and if we hit it, it will be the first so far of the year. Only KTSM gives you nine full days of weather. As that ridge of high pressure breaks down, our temperatures go down. 95 on Tuesday and breezy. We get three moderately gusty days in a row Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with high temperatures continuing to decline and a cool front on Saturday with a high of 87 degrees. Don't go anywhere. More KTSM 9 News in just a moment.